About 14 years ago, I was on my way to the church when I saw a tall weird looking guy holding a book. Since I was broke and I couldn't afford to buy books at this time, my strategy was to beg anyone I saw with a book to lend me those books. That was exactly what I did. The book I borrowed from my strange looking friend was Tony Robbins' Awaken the Giant Within. Up until this time, I have not read many books as big as 500 pages and since I was a slow reader, I would leave my home to a secondary school and sit down with Tony Robbins' book. One day while reading, I came across a statement from the book which changed my life forever and that was, the path to success is to take massive, determined action. Tony goes further in his book to explain that failure is an inevitable part of the journey of success and that's the reason why you need massive actions because, well, most of your actions would not lead to success. I think so many young people don't understand this essential ingredient of success. So, let's talk about it. You see, success is like Christmas. It's the 25th of December and it's the most celebrated day of the year. Christmas is popular and sweet. But guess what? For any single Christmas, there are 364 boring days in a year. My above analogy may not be perfect, but you get the point. Success is popular interesting and desirable. But for any single meaningful success you hear about, a hundred failures and mistakes had gone into the making. That's why massive action is needed. The path to success is to take massive, determined action. James Dyson was born on 2nd May 1947 in Cromer, Norfolk. At age 23, the young Dyson helped design the sea truck in 1970 while studying at the Royal College of Art and went on from there to get involved with several other inventions but none of them was as successful but none of them was as successful as his vacuum cleaners. So let's talk about that. In the late 1970s, Dyson had the idea of using cyclonic separation to create a vacuum cleaner that would not lose suction as it picks up dirt but he didn't have millions of dollars to try his invention. Instead, he got supported partly by his wife's salary who is an art teacher one, two, three, even ten prototypes, James' vacuum cleaner were still far from having any hope. Listen to this because it's very important. James Dyson had to sacrifice 15 long years of his life to make 5,127 prototypes before he launched the G-Force cleaner in 1983. Listen to that, 15 years of failure, 5,127 trials and mistakes. That was what it took for James Dyson to invent something worthwhile. Today, he's the richest man in the United Kingdom with a net worth of $27.8 billion. What do you want? Do you want to excel in any field? Do you want to build a successful business, for example? Or you want to become a successful author, athlete, musician or whatever? Well, here's a piece of sad news for you. 90% of the things you'll try will not work. Listen to that again. 90% of the things you will try will fail. That's the truth and you should not be scared by it. Instead, you have to make up your mind to fail fast because the faster you fail, the closer you'll be to succeed. The more actions you take, the more failures you'll have but the earlier you succeed to. The path to success is to take massive determined action. Theodore Seuss Giziel was born on March 2, 1904. Giesel left Oxford without earning a degree and returned to the United States in February 1927 where he immediately began submitting writings and drawings to magazines, book publishers and advertising agencies. Making use of his time in Europe, he pitched a series of cartoons called Eminent Europeans to Life magazine but the magazine rejected his idea. After his future wife convinced him to pursue his dream as a writer in the 1920s, he submitted pieces to publishers and periodicals. It was a long slog but he eventually made his debut with a cartoon in the July 16, 1927 issue of the Saturday Evening Post. His pay was $25, enough encouragement for the young cartoonist to move to New York to take his dream seriously but success wouldn't come to him quickly. Between the times he moved to New York and when he found a publisher for his children's book, one long decade had gone by. During this one decade of failures, Theodore Seuss Gazelle was rejected by 27 different publishers because they felt that his book was not good enough until 1937 when he met a publisher who was willing to give him a chance. Today, Dr. Seuss's book series had sold more than 600 million copies. What if Theodore Seuss Gazelle was not willing to keep on trying? What if he was not willing to take a lot of action? 
What if he wasn't willing to try again and again after several rejections? The path to success is to take massive, determined action. Again, let me repeat what I've told you before. Most of the things you'll try in your life will not work. Most of the things you'll attempt will fail. What most young people do when this happens is to look around for who to blame, then cook up some excuse to make themselves feel good. The problem with this strategy is that you're heading for an average life. Most humans allow fear to rule their lives. Many others have wrong expectations about success. Some wish they could succeed after a few attempts. The truth of the matter is, most worthwhile success requires tens and hundreds of failures before the world gets to see them. The good news, however, is that it doesn't matter how many times you fail, you just have to succeed once and you'll forget all those years of failures. The path to success is to take massive determined action. My life and failures Between the ages of 21 and 29, I had more failures than anyone else I've known. I threw myself into the cold river of life. I attempted crazy things and messed up my life big time. I got rejected several times and always stood up and tried again. Yes, many times I questioned myself. Many times I had self-doubt and wondered if I was doing the right thing. But each time I would get back to the battlefield and start pursuing my entrepreneurial dreams, no matter how difficult. Few months to my 30th birthday, I had my first breakthrough in the business world. That was five years ago. And if today I remember those horrible periods in my life, they seem as though they were a mere dream. Today, those long years of failure, rejection and poverty don't matter any more than the dream I had last night. And that's the point of this entire video. Your failures will be painful. Your mistakes, rejections and poverty when you're pursuing your dream will make your life difficult. But after you succeed, they would all look as though they never existed. So, dear life, attempt big things. And when you fail, remember this. James Dyson had to go through 5,127 prototypes and sacrifice 15 years before he successfully invented a vacuum cleaner that made him a billionaire. Theodore Suskis Hill had to endure 27 rejections in one decade before he published his first children's book in the series which has sold more than 600 million copies. Failure is the master key to success. You're not failing in life because something is wrong with you. You're failing because failure is the name of the road that leads to success. If you can't endure several failures, you can't enjoy success. The path to success is to take massive, determined action.